Hi YouTube, um, I'm still in the middle of making this PCB layout for my new, I call it ultimate sensor card and this is what I have done so far you see that this part, the X mega part is not done yet but yeah that's relatively straightforward port uh, routing I don't see not, that much of a problem here but still this uh, so far what I did it took me oh yeah it took me a couple of days but to be quite honest uh, in this case I am very there's no rush <laughs> I mean uh, it's not as though I have to finish this right away or somebody is going to die. I'm um, a layout like this. I want it to be. Uh, every new layout you make is like, and hey, I want it to be as good as it can be. And this means you're going to start optimizing tracks and. Look at this for a couple. I mean, this is always important. I think um, look at the layout for a couple of days at least before you finally going to produce it. Because uh, if you do this yourself or you need a PCB manufacturer, that doesn't make much of a difference. Look at this layout, and maybe you see something like an mm, this. I could have done better. Uh, my layouts are naturally manual there's no other router that can do a job like this and uh, especially if you uh, this video sh shall uh, address one specific problem when it comes to PCB layouts yeah no my battery is empty uh, and this is um problem with ground planes. You see that um, I cannot tell my PCB software, Eagle in this case, that this hole, through hole here, is not through plated, which means that always if there is a top ground plane, like here the red one, and this ground plane, they intersect, but mm, as you can see, but you need to see this, this ground plane here, yeah, 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 this ground plane, it's completely separated, and the problem is that that is uh, a switch that I cannot solder from the top, and that's a problem. Uh, if you do PCB layouts to be manufactured by yourself, I mean that is in your not through plated then you have the problem that um, the PCB layout will always say yeah it's connected since it is connected from the upper plane problem is from the upper plane you cannot solder it uh, and that's the problem uh, so this means uh, while this is a good software and I like it and all that you still have to do a, a bit more thinking when it comes to those Layouts like in yeah, like the software thinks it is now connected, but I see that the crown plane is certainly disconnected and will not connect from the bottom where I can actually solder it. And this is something you have to always keep in mind and doesn't make it any easier. Because um like if I, if I install this we call it in Germany Moise Klavier. Uh, a mouse piano. That's probably not the phrase you use, uh, use in, in English language. That's uh, the straightforward translation. Um, I, I cannot solo this from from the top. Uh, I'll show it to you. <laughs> Good example. Come on. Mm, that's yeah. You go. Oh, wait a moment. Yeah, here it is. Now here it is. 
Uh, yeah. Dip. A, a, a dip bridge. Um, ein Mäuseklavier. Yeah. Uh, but as you can see, here, here are the pins. I cannot solder this from the top of a PCB because, as you can see, I cannot reach it with my solder iron. And it's something you have to always think about. That that doesn't make um, your job of uh, layouting a, a PCB for self-production any easier. But okay, I think, I hope that uh, give me a couple of more days and this thing will be finished. And I I am a little eager to make this thing finally go into production here, right here, you know. Uh, I'm eager of making an, a, a new PCB. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> you know how it is. So, so you can cram those things out of your ass. Uh, this is um, the part about this hobby I like the most, making PCBs, and the rest is just dream work. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you anytime soon.